Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. Today we're going to look at finding the slope-intercept form of a line that satisfies some given conditions. So here we're looking for a line that's perpendicular to this given line, and it also needs to pass through this point for negative 3. Well, in order to find the slope-intercept form, we need y equals mx plus b. So we need to find the slope, and we can find the slope based on this perpendicular. So we're going to take our first line, our given equation, 6x minus 3y equals 18, and we're going to put it in slope-intercept form. So subtract 6x, we have negative 3y equals negative 6x plus 18. And to isolate the y, we need to divide everything by negative 3. So we have y equals 2x minus 6. So this is the given line. And we want to find something perpendicular to this. So we need to know the slope. Well, 2 is the slope. So if the slope of our given line is 2, remember that's the same as 2 over 1. So then a perpendicular slope is going to be negative the inverse. So you flip that slope, or negative 1 half. So we know our new line is going to be y equals negative 1 half x plus B. So our last step is to figure out what B is, our y-intercept. And to do that, we use our given point for negative 3. And we substitute that in to this y equals negative 1 half x plus b for x and y. Or negative 3 equals negative 1 half times 4 plus b. So negative 3 equals negative 4 halves plus b. We can simplify that negative 4 halves as negative 2. And to solve for b, we're going to add 2 to both sides. And we see that b equals negative 1. So our final equation is y equals negative 1 half x minus 1, our b. So this is the equation of a line that's perpendicular to that given line, 6x minus 3y equals 18, and it also passes through the point for negative 3.